Hi folks, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome back to Harris Acres and Heart of the Home. Well, I feel fortunate today. I've got a guest who came back. Carol Blanton from the Carolina Crossman ate with me before and he's back again. We had such a good time, we decided we'd visit a little bit more. And we'll talk more about his career and we'll cook a little bit and we'll share some simple recipes with you once again. Carol, it's so good to see oh, you again. Oh, it's a pleasure to be back. Pleasure. I'm so glad you've, you've come back and I didn't scare you off last time. Oh, anytime you'll feed me, I'll come. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. That's You know, recipes are good friend makers, aren't yeah, they? they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, speaking of friends, you and I talked um, earlier one day about your friends, Mike Hawkum and Bavaria Hawkum, his wife was in Tupperware, wasn't she? Yes. Now, I remember as a child, my mom sold Tupperware. Yeah. And a lot of the recipes I do, I have this huge Tupperware bowl. There's nothing any better than that no. stuff. My wife, ever, ever cabinet in our house, uh -huh. full of Tupperware. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, does she do the parties or does she She just... used to. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't anymore. She's now into jewelry. <laughs> oh, is she? Well, the real stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. The costume jewelry, but she sells a lot of well, it. Well, that's good. That's good. And that keeps her busy while you're gone. Keeps her busy. Now, does she ever travel with you? No, ma'am. We uh, we started several years ago of made a rule, and we kind of followed Billy Graham's rule is we just don't allow any women on our bus. That's a good that idea. way, when we pull into a church, and it just, we just never did think it looked good for five men to come out and one woman. It right, just, right. So we just made that rule, and a lot of times they follow us and, mm -hmm. and come in, in the vehicles, but that's right. just one thing that we... Well, and if y'all's bus is like a lot of them, I've seen... It's nowhere for women to be anyway. <laughs> it is true. We, people ask, can we change on your bus? I said, if you can stand the smell, go ahead. <laughs> I know that's the truth because yeah. I've seen the Inspirations bus. Yeah. So. <laughs> Or well, not that bad. Uh -oh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, is yours an older model bus? Uh, we have a 89 Prevo. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. How many miles are on it? Uh, on the new motor, about 26,000. We're oh, doing okay. great. Uh, okay. The whole bus only has like 480,000. Well, you know, it's funny because people don't relate to diesel engines run forever. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like me. I'm running forever. Yeah, I guarantee you're <laughs> like the Energizer forever. Bunny. Yeah, yeah. But it's funny because, you know, people, oh, I need to trade my car. It's got 100,000 miles on it. I had a Mercedes that had over 300,000 on it. Uh, most of these buses engine. will go uh, a million miles before you have to do any major work. Yeah, yeah. Well, our trucks, when they get to a million miles then we try to either upgrade or do a major engine overhaul mm -hmm. and and hope that you don't have to do injectors before then things yeah. like that but they and you know all about that because that's what you have to do to keep yours oh up. yeah yeah got to keep it rolling that's right now when you travel do y'all do a yearly thing is it an all year yes ma'am we have a we host a gospel singing at one time a year the, at our, in our hometown and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and tell me the, the name first of the weekend hometown? in May. Uh, it's Silva, North Carolina, but uh, Cullahue is uh, where Western Carolina University is at, and okay. we have our singing just right beside the university at Cullahue Valley Elementary School, and it's always the first weekend in May. Okay. And uh, and people can find out. Now, I got on your website, yes. and I found out um, some things about y'all. Yeah. And, and, you know, the first time I saw you was maybe three years ago in Inspiration Park. Yes, ma'am. And um, y'all stepped on stage, and I thought, man, that is an awesome sound, because <laughs> it was just real upbeat, and I thought, that is great. Until then, I never heard you. So. Well, I appreciate that. We, uh, we've we sang locally, and, and well, for years, we sang in Florida more than we did in North Carolina. Really? And, uh, but we've uh, we've been spreading out more and more, and are, are wanting to go more. Mm -hmm, it's just, mm -hmm. when the doors open and we can go, we're going. Go, go. Now, people book through your website. Is that uh, how they can get in touch with you? They can contact us through the website. All the phone numbers and all the information is there, and okay. it's it's real easy. It's just CarolinaCrossman.com. Right. Now, tell us a little bit about your lead singer. My lead singer is from Blue Ridge, Georgia, and uh, he's. Uh, well, let's see. What's a good word? He is wide open. Uh -huh. uh, I tell uh, the, the joke that uh, I have to judge what kind of church we're at uh, as to how many Ridlin I have to give him before the service. <laughs> you know, if we're in a Methodist church, I give him two He's Ridlin. Awesome. And if, we're in, if we're in a church of God or holding this church, I only give him a half a Ridlin. <laughs> and, right. and just kind of keep him calm down. But yeah. he's, he he's is so awesome. excited. He is awesome. Now, and he, I know somebody who went to school with him. Mm -hmm. And she said it was terrible to be competing with that boy in a talent contest. Yeah, because she can, said he won them all. He can know? play anything and, and, and sing any sing part. Amazing. Write songs. He's now, so talented. is that is his family like his that? His mother is one of the greatest old-fashioned Southern gospel oh, piano players wow. that ever sat down on the seat. What's and her name? Her name is Beverly Beverly uh, Thompson. 
She's just a fantastic wow. piano player. And, and uh, so he learned at home. He learned at home. His his grandmother was a great piano player. She played check notes. And, uh, oh. and uh, he plays piano, guitar, drums, bass, uh, mandolin. He's playing the fiddle a oh little now. Oh, my and, gosh. And, uh, he's just the kind of young man that makes you sick, you know, because yeah. he, can, he can do anything he wants and doesn't try it anything. It's just wow. automatic. Wow. Well, that's kind of like watching the primitives. You know, they all are so, they can play the instruments they can sing and you just think how could that family get that much talent oh, yeah. and then a poor old family like us can barely play the radio exactly <laughs> it's funny exactly. isn't it but but god has a plan and yes, he decided he that that plan went the other way so. what amazes me about these young people in the in the gospel music is i promise you you're never going to get rich in gospel music no. or you're never going to no. be what the world will consider truly famous but hey when they realize where that That's talent right. came from That's and right. who it belongs to it just thrills my That's heart right. to see them working for the lord well that Barry Scott has had a little issue about couldn't decide whether to go bluegrass or gospel. And I kept saying, son, you need to go with the gospel all the mm -hmm. way. He has such a God-given writing talent. Mm -hmm. And I said, the talent came from God. Give it back to God. Yeah. And he and I have talked about that a lot because yeah, it, it truly is you write. Mm -hmm. and, and you know that you didn't just sit down and dream this stuff up. No. We just got out of the, the recording studio and the, the running joke in the recording studio is uh, with all the studio musicians, they say, oh, did you make that one up? Yeah, uh, yeah. They don't yeah. say, did you write the song? They say, did you make that yeah, one up? And yeah, I, we yeah. have a lot of fun with that. Now, but, how many things have you written this year? Uh, the, on our new recording, I wrote five out of the ten. Boy, that's awesome. And Jonathan, the, the guy we were talking about a second ago, wrote one of the Oh, really? The he did? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Great wow. song. Fast, upbeat. His one's fast. Uh, two of mine are fast and three of them are slow. Yeah. And we, we wrote a new, uh, we love uh, the soul, the the uh, black gospel. And, oh, me. Uh, oh, we, me too. Uh, we got a brand new song that we wrote, and uh, it's uh, along those lines. It's got a lot of, wow. a lot of the soul music well, in it. Well, and, we don't have time. We'll talk about this later, but, but when I was in high school, the reason I love gospel music, one of my friends in fifth period was Glenda Whipple, who could sing anything. She was a black girl from, from uh, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I saw her yesterday at the Fox Theater. We hadn't seen each other in 42 years. We're walking, I'm walking in the Fox, she's walking out. She's the reason I love gospel music. That girl could sing anything. Oh, it's amazing. And she'd sit there in, in fifth period and I'd say, sing so-and-so, she'd sing it. Sing so-and-so, she'd sing it. Man, I could have smacked her. I can't sing anything. <laughs> a lot of our, it, lot of our southern gospel came honey, from that. Honey, it came from those churches. Those blues. And oh, man. Awesome. And you never forget that sound. No, you no. never forget it. It's wonderful. Now, y'all, we don't want you to forget us. We want you to come back. We'll be back in just a minute, and we're going to be cooking. Yeah. Carol and I are going to get in the kitchen. We're going to cook a little and eat a little. And at the end of this program, we're going to have a special dessert. So y'all hang around now. We'll be right back. Hi folks, welcome back to Harris Farm, Harris Acres, and my guest Carol Blanton. Hi. Now Carol, you knew when you came to Georgia, you'd either have peaches or Vidalia onions. I hope for both. Well, I... we've had, we're going to have peaches and Vidalia onions, and wow. now the Vidalia onions, this is a recipe I've never tried, but it was submitted by a lady in Florida, mm -hmm. and it's a Vidalia onion shortcake. Wow. So you and I together are going to experiment. All right. Now I glazed the onions, I just um, cooked them in a little bit of butter until they turned translucent, and to that, I'm going to add sour cream and cheese, and you're going to make me, I guess, the dough part of this. Okay. So you're going to use the Jiffy Corn Meal Mix, yep. corn, Mayfield milk, and you know how I feel about Mayfield, Mayfield milk. Mayfield milk. Absolutely. And you said your daddy loved Mayfield milk? Mayfield ice cream. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all love Mayfield ice cream. And yeah. then you're going to add an egg to that. Okay. So this sounds simple enough, and it's using the Vidalia onions. And man, is there anything any better than a Vidalia onion? Not that I found. Uh-uh, they can, are so good. You can peel them and eat them like an apple. Well, and that's the truth. You really can. Um, they don't, I peel two today and I haven't shed a tear. I haven't shed a tear, so that was pretty awesome. Now we've got sour cream, onions, and cheese on my part. And you've got, and I used white corn because I love that white cream style corn. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, I don't love it when you have to work it up and fry it and do all that mess with it. And you said a splash of Yeah, this. just a little dash of that. I think just a little kick. There you go. Here's your spoon. There you go. Now, I've never tried this, but I like onions. I like cream cheese. I like corn. So, so I thought, why not? All the ingredients are good, so That's right. all together should be better. We're going to try it and see what happens. 
And this lady has submitted, I think, four or five recipes, and we've done several of hers, and they're always good. Oh, so she, she, I trust her. Now, I've got to add a little bit of fresh dill to my part of this recipe. And uh, you said your family used to grow dill? Oh, yeah. Isn't that something? Made our own dill pickles. We had to grow our own dill. You're kidding. Yeah. Let me tell you about making pickles. You can walk down the aisle at our local grocery store, and uh, for a dollar and ninety-nine cents, you can save yourself a whole lot of work. Yeah, but you didn't have you got to keep the kids out of trouble, so you got well, to get them true. in the garden. That's the true. And You're right. Planting. Boy, and picking. my husband would have agreed with that. So it's funny, but yeah, we do a lot of things to keep those kids. We we stay on the go kart track because that keeps my son busy, busy, busy. Guarantee. And he loves it. Now that He's looks doing pretty good. good. Too, isn't he? And we have sprayed our pan with Pam. Now, if you will pour your part of that mixture in there, just pour it all down, there you go. And then I'm gonna put my part on top, and we're gonna bake this for about 25 minutes. This smells good. Wow. I love cream corn, I love cornbread, so this ought to be interesting. Yeah. If nothing else, we're going to have something totally different and very interesting. And I like sour cream. S something different. This would be good with fried okra and sliced tomatoes. Be good with fried green tomatoes. Oh yeah. Have y'all had any okra yet? Yes. Have you? No, mm -hmm. I haven't gotten any. I was going up to Darnell's next weekend and see if they had some. Will you put that on the top shelf of the oven? Mm-hmm. Looks good and looks simple. Now, Carol, we're going to let that cook just a little bit, and then we're going to have the most gorgeous cake for our closing segment today. Great. You're going to be so impressed with this cake. Good. It's white chocolate, and it's raspberry. Wow. And somebody worked themselves to death making it, but it wasn't me. I told you it not to tell. It wasn't me. <laughs> but it's the kind of baking I love to do. It's the kind that impresses your mother-in-law. Okay. And, and my little mother-in-law doesn't hear well. And God love her so. When I say, no, Ma, I didn't make it. I went to the bakery and bought it. She doesn't hear that. She just thinks I made it. And th sometimes that's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's a good thing. And uh, baking is one of those things. You either love it or you don't. Mm -hmm. I'd rather fry okra. I, you know, I would rather fry okra. I'd rather make a scallop tomato casserole. But some people love to bake. Yep. So I promise you, when you see this cake, you're going to be impressed. You're going to, you're going to be impressed. Cake. You're going to be absolutely impressed. And the, the frosting is, is a thick, thick frosting, but it's very light. Oh, cool. Very light. So, guys, now when we come back, we're going to share our Vidalia onion shortcake will be ready. And our dessert will be ready. And we're going to share a little bit of us with you. We're going to talk a little bit more about you and your group. Good. And we're going to share your website, www.carolinacrossman.com. And your CDs are available through your website? Yes, ma'am. And they can order online? Yes, ma'am. Good. Good deal. Yeah. You have a DVD, too, yes. don't you? Yes, have a great DVD, a live DVD. Oh, yeah. It, now, where was it recorded? It was recorded at the Cullowee Valley School. We do an annual singing every okay. year, and it, we recorded it live at one of our singings at the... Colorway Valley School in Colorway, North Carolina. Well, we have a, a TV in our Suburban, and I can't tell you how many times we've ridden up and down the road and watched that DVD. Cool. So, uh, good entertainment and good, clean Christian entertainment. Thank the kind you. of thing that you want to pass on to the next generation, they right? We love to see people smile. That's right, that's right. And y'all do make people smile. I've noticed that about your group. So, some of the songs are a little bit weepy and teary-eyed with other groups, and, and you go there knowing that, but when you go to see y'all, you leave there smiling. So. Uh -huh. Now guys, we're going to be right back and we're going to share this wonderful cake, this wonderful cake with you. And we're going to share the Vidalia onion with you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back now. Hang around, guys. Whoa, boy, I smell something good. Yeah. That casserole smells great. Yeah, it does. Now, Vidalia onions, you can't beat that. No. Carol, I've beaten it. Ooh. Look at what I didn't make. <laughs> You cheated. <laughs> I cheated. I cheated. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. My mother-in-law really doesn't hear well. And every year when I show up with these beautiful cakes, she really thinks I made them, guys. I didn't make them, but they came from one of my favorite bakeries, which happens to be the Marietta Diner. Okay. It's a restaurant in Marietta. Ooh. And we eat there often. And we love their desserts. 
And because our trucking company has to give gifts to people Christmas, I always show up down there and I buy a bunch of these cakes to give us gifts. Good deal. So, ladies, you don't have to kill yourself to make a cake that looks that good and tastes that good. Yeah. Now, you did a simple recipe. Yes. And I've done the simplest recipe. I want on your Christmas list. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know, they have about 12 varieties of cakes. Wow. And honestly, they're awesome. They're awesome. I'm not even going to tell you what they cost, but I'll tell you they're worth every dime of it. Okay. They're worth every dime. They're located on Highway 41 in Marietta. I might add, just across the street from Krispy Kreme Donuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you wait till the hot light's on, you go to Krispy Kreme, and then you pull in and get you 10 of these cakes, and you drive to all your favorite customers, uh -huh. and you deliver cakes as you're eating Krispy Kreme Donuts. That way you don't does have that, to cut the cake. No, does uh -huh. that sound good? It works. That sound, it works. It works for me. It works yeah. for me every year. Good deal. So y'all, as the holidays approach, we're going to be going into fall, good. and and you want people to have something nice, and you don't want to kill yourself doing no. it and you don't want to stress out and the least stressful thing I do a year is walk into Marietta Diner and I guarantee you when I walk in I'm smiling and when I leave yeah, I'm really, really smiling smile. I'm really smiling now let's try this Vidalia casserole what do you think about it it looks great it smells great I love cream corn mm -hmm. now this is hot Carol it may have to cool a minute honey while it cools, let's talk about your group. Tell me again how folks can get in touch with you. Uh, the easiest way is to go to our website. This is carolinacrossman.com, and you can get all the information. You can email us, phone us, write us any way you want to. Right? We'd love to hear from each and every one of you. And they want, uh, you want folks to check. Come often. Come often yes, to see you. Don't yes. just come one time. Yeah. Come often. Come, come on often. back. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you go to Blue Ridge? Do y'all sing we in Blue Ridge? We sing in Blue Ridge two or three times a year several Good. places. Uh, I know in November we're going to be in uh, McKaysville, right outside of Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. and uh, right around, I think it's the week before Thanksgiving. Well, we're, we're be that, that's a good time of year to have things close by because mm -hmm. the weather's bad, and, and yeah. we try to, when I take the grannies during the fall, we try to pick close places. Yeah, so, so that'll work great. Yeah, and you and I were talking about one of our jointly favorite groups, the Diplomats. Yes. Are they awesome people? They are super. They are super precious. People. They are precious, and, and Rita has got this gazillion dollar smile. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and a heart to go with and it. And a voice. And a wow, voice to go with it. She does. She does. Now, we've got Vidalia onions, and we've got a raspberry cake. Now, if we call the kids in, which recipe do you think they're going to want to eat? Well, I think they're going to want the Vidalia onions. You do? <laughs> well, not really, but... No. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to want some cake. Come on, guys. Let's fix you guys a piece of cake. Now, remember, guys, this cake is white chocolate and raspberry. And I'm telling you, there's never been a better cake. And the folks at the Marietta Diner are super, super people, too. I love to go visit them. My family goes there often. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite gifts every year, my secretary gives me a gift certificate to Marietta Diner. I guess they take all the calories out of that, too, oh don't they? Oh, my gosh. Look mm -hmm. what a piece of cake. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ladies first. <laughs> Kelsey, there you go. Oh, my goodness. Emily, have you ever seen anything look this good? No. Oh, and it's so light. Y'all won't believe this. This cake, number one, it's falling apart. Man, is that awesome. Oh. Now, I do get to lick my fingers, don't I? Here, <laughs> let me get your fork, sweetie. Michael, what do you think of this? Mm. That looks pretty good. Ooh, is that not awesome? Look at this. <gasps> Man. It, and it is so light, and it really, it's white chocolate and raspberry. This is my favorite one, and everybody who knows, they've got a lot of different recipes. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. Now, you're one of my favorite guests. Thank and you. And talking about favorites, I'm going to make him promise to come back. You promise me you'll come back? Anytime you ask. Good, good. And, and we'll be doing quick and easy recipes. Good. You know it's got to be quick and got to be easy. Because I am a working mom, and most moms today work. And, I and like the, the quick and easiest because some of us men can do it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know, I've had a lot of guys who um, cook, and I love that. I love mm. the idea that guys cook today. My husband could do grits and scrambled eggs and sausage, but that's about as far as he got. So, But that's okay. That's okay. At least you made an effort. Yeah. And guys, we want you to come back every week to Heart of the Home. We'll be at the farm. We'll be here. 
and we're going to be traveling a little bit this fall. And when we travel, we want you to travel with us. So stay tuned. We're on every week, same time, same channel, and always with great gospel music, simple, simple recipes, and great guests. I've got a great guest today, and I'm so glad he stopped in. Stay tuned. Remember, we'll always have good recipes, good gospel music, and great guests. Thank you so much, Thank Carol. It's been a pleasure. Y'all stay tuned now. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to Heart of the Home. My name is Carol Blanton with the Carolina Crossman. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some more great Southern gospel music. I still believe there's a God above who reigns in power and he reigns in love. I still believe in the virgin birth and that the Bible is God's word. Though the skeptics may deny it, my last breath will testify it. He'll give grace to stand and say, I still believe. It is written in the last days, some will depart from the faith, heeding lies and seducing spirits, and leading many astray. But God still got some people, just like you and me, who are not afraid to stand and say, I still believe, I still believe there's a God above. He reigns in power and he reigns in love. I still believe in the virgin birth and that the Bible is God's word. Though the skeptics may deny it, my last breath will testify it. He'll give grace to stand and say, I still believe. Come on, son. now if you'll stand by the word of God, the God of the word will stand by you. Time and time again, it's been tried and he's been true. And like the Hebrew children in the fire Or Moses at the Red Sea I'll stand upon God's word and say I still believe I still believe, believe there's a God above Who reigns in power and he reigns in love I still believe in the virgin birth And that the Bible is God's word Though the skeptics may deny it My last breath will testify it He'll give grace to stand and say I still believe I still believe there's a God above He reigns in power and He reigns in love I still believe in the virgin birth And that the Bible is God's word Though the skeptics may deny it My last breath will testify it He'll give grace to stand and say I still believe we're going to rise up when Gabriel's trumpet sound, we're gonna rise up, we'll come up out of the ground to meet the Lord in the air, eternal joy to share. We're gonna rise up, what a wonderful day of faith. Now if you're in doubt what I'm singing about, my friend gets lending ear. Cause the saints are all gonna rise up with the trumpet sound you hear. Kneel down and pray, get ready today, then you can surely say, We're gonna rise up through the sky, what a wonderful day of play. We're gonna rise up when Gabriel's trumpet sounds. We're gonna rise up, we'll come up out of the ground to meet the Lord in the air, eternal joy to share. We're gonna rise up, what a wonderful day of play. A lot of singing and shouting, yeah. praising God in one accord. We'll see the face of Jesus, crown him King and Lord of Lords. Oh, what a grand reunion, yes, seeing loved ones gone before. Forever we'll be with the Lord. 